Yeah, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video we are looking at the mlb prize picks props got a nice saturday slate of baseball got an absolutely killer ufc card so definitely going to be a pretty active day in the betting community try to get some hits here on prize picks baseball slate got six picks let's get into it as always if you enjoy the videos appreciate it for the like button subscribe if you haven't already check out some other links in the description if you want to play on underdog fantasy you can get some free money when you use my code there uh, it's process. Uh, Twitter is at the DFS process. And uh, check out the site if you're into DraftKings or FanDuel. Uh, so the first prop that I'm looking at today is a couple of over fantasy props for pitchers. First one we're looking at is Aaron Nola, 36 and a half. He's been pretty up and down for the Phillies, but against the Pirates, they've completely fallen off. After they got off to a pretty good start this year, uh, just losing... O'Neill Cruz early on in the season when they were doing well didn't help their cause and they just haven't really been able to get anything going so there are a lot of strikeouts um in this lineup we saw yesterday with uh, Zach Wheeler with 11 Ks against the Pirates and Nola's also very talented with the strikeout so he's probably going to get you a good amount of Ks the Phillies are probably going to get the win so I think there's a decent chance that Nola gets credited for the win and you get those fantasy points that way so like to like with Nola just 36 and a half and then the second over fantasy I'm taking is Bailey Ober. He's going up against this uh, Royals team, which had a nice come-from-behind victory uh, in extras. And uh, they I mean, they were uh, leading in the ninth inning. They blew that save, but then they came back and won. So you know, they're playing a little bit better, but they're still, a, they're still not a good offense. The reason they only have 30 wins. Uh, Ober has been one of the better pitchers for the Twins this year. There are some Ks in this lineup. You just don't score a lot of runs, so probably not going to get a lot of earned runs against Ober and uh, the Twins. After losing last night, you probably don't think they'll lose two in a row against the Royals, so taking him at just 30 and a half. Now we're going over to some hitters, and these are some guys that have some good history. A couple of these props that I will give you guys. Three of them have some really nice numbers against the opposing pitcher. We're going to start with Pete Alonzo, who's been on fire uh, for the Mets couple of multi-home run games in his last four so four home runs during that stretch two last night and now he's going up against Patrick Corbin who's been awful over the last couple years Nats made a big mistake signing him to that long contract and Alonzo is starting to hit the ball well and starting to hit home runs and against uh, Patrick Corbin he has five home runs against him and 40 at bats he's batting 350 so just seven and a half fantasy seems like a steal for Pat or uh, for Pete Alonso today. The second one just got his return last night. Gave you some fantasy points, uh, but that game was also just a one nothing game. You didn't really. It was a uh, had some rain concerns and everything going into that one. But after not playing for almost two months, uh, Judge good to see him back yesterday, and now he gets a good matchup against Wells, a guy that he's batted four twenty one against with five or three home runs, nineteen at bats, and you you, th you think Judge is ready to kind of make up for some lost time and play well the rest of the way. Him and uh, Stan, I think, are good candidates to go yard today. Uh, another one with a great BVP is Nolan Arenado. So, you know, a couple of days left before the trade deadline. We'll see if he gets moved or not. You probably think he wants to play the rest of the season when he has a chance to make the playoffs and maybe win the World Series on a contender. Uh, he gets a matchup today against Tyon, a guy that he's faced 11 times, 11 at-bats against him, and he has seven hits. In those 11 at-bats, so that's a 636 batting average. You're getting a great number at just 7. And then I love the Dodgers offense today. This just seems like one of the spots we know you have seen it multiple times this year where you have Betts homers, Freeman homers, Muncy homers, J.D. Martinez homers. They have like four guys that hit a home run on the same day. Could be one of those days against uh, Weaver. And the guy that I'm going with is Freddie Freeman at 8.5. Get the lefty-righty matchup. Uh, you always get good odds on him to hit a home run. Wouldn't be surprised if today's the day that, you know, you see three or four of these Dodgers bats leave the park. So those are the six props I'm looking at today. I think they all look good. They got some great hitters in here. Got a couple of good pitchers and good, good matchups. So those are the six over 36 and a half fantasy for Nola, over 30 and a half fantasy for Ober, over seven and a half fantasy for Alonzo, over eight and a half fantasy for Judge, over seven fantasy for Arenado, and over eight and a half fantasy for Freddie Freeman. Best of luck today. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.